Buckled. The road has become a traffic headache for a lot of you in Arapahoe County. And 7 News reporter Mark Boyle is live there now. Mark, how's the rush hour traffic looking in that area right now? It's pretty jammed up on the northbound side here of Buckley. You can see they've put the asphalt in here where the road buckled up here on the southbound lane of Buckley. But there's some compaction problems. There's wet soil underneath, and that's why it's still closed during this rush hour. Still, it buckled, and a lot of people in this area came running to block that road, so nobody got hurt. I was kind of directing traffic, you know, going tell them to go that way or this way. Retiree Ray Gavi sprung into action to direct traffic after realizing this stretch of Buckley Road between Orchard and Maplewood didn't look quite right. You can see just how much it buckled up. Look at the road in comparison to the little girl standing next to it. I said, you know, I don't think you can make it. I mean, it's, it's too, too high, and a couple cars made it. But it scraped bottom a lot. And then the rest of them, they decided not to. An Arapahoe County spokesperson says the heat this weekend caused the concrete to expand. That, paired with expansion gaps built too narrow, caused this problem. Crews closed southbound portion of Buckley Road where they're putting in asphalt as a temporary fix. It left Gavi and others in the neighborhood with an eventful Saturday. And luckily, we're able to get the road closed down before anybody was hurt going over it. But it was amazing. I mean, it's funny how people go by, you know, and, and look and, and you to see the road buckle like that. That was really weird. A lot of people in the area still coming out to see what the road looks like now. The asphalt that you see here, just a temporary fix. That is until the county can bid out a contractor to put the concrete back in. Now, if you drive this stretch of Buckley for your uh, commute every day, you'll want to think of another way around at least through tomorrow. Live in Arapahoe County, Mark Boyle, 7 News.